God, what the hell? Another what is their edition? Round 75? Of Tuesdays at the murder table. Tuesdays. Tippling Tuesday at the murder table. So Come on, get it straight. To, I can, can't get all those T's together. I know. The alliteration. I it kills me. I understand. So, so we, we have a bottle from the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. I happen to be a member, and they send me many, many mailings. And every once in a while, I'll break down and buy a bottle. Well, on this bottle, this is... Bottle number 29.256. It's the 256th <coughs> bottle or cask they've taken from um, a particular distillery. This distillery with my magic Dakota ring is Lafroig. Ooh. So, so this is one of 236 bottles they got out of the cask. And 90 were sent to the U.S. And I was lucky enough to have the opportunity to get 90. One of the two. Nice. So... I'm going to read. I'm going to read it. Fireman in Fishnets. I like the name. It almost reminds me of like the Lumberjack song. I believe you're reading too much into that. Well, maybe. I think maybe it's the fireman from the smoke and the fishnets with the brine, not actually firemen wearing fishnets. Yeah, but it sounds better the way I say it. It's more fun. <laughs> Blazing driftwood, driftwood on a beach bellowed tarry smoke that wins perfectly balanced by vanilla ice cream cones, heather, lavender, and oyster sauce. So this was distilled on March 11th, 2011. Refill Barrel X Bourbon, Region Isla, 64.6% alcohol by volume, a 750 milliliter bottle, seven years old. So this is gonna pack a punch. At 64.6? I think it's going to pack a while. I, I think you might be right. I think it's going to kick us in the behind. We're going to feel like we just fought a fire. <laughs> and we might wake up wearing fishnets. You just never know. Do the honors, please. Shall I? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Can we get a pop? Squeaky, squeaky. Pop. Oh, that's oh. the best sound. It is, but let's see. And now the second best sound. Let's see if I hope I won't spill any ants. The glug glug. glug, glug Who glug? doesn't love the glug glug? Yeah, you know, we actually don't get the glug glug because you've already, we have already, see, it's only, oh, <laughs> it's going down the side, save it! it. Drop. Oh <laughs> my god, I just took a little tiny sip and it's like, oofa, oofa. It's delicious. So this is nature's candy? Is that what they nature's call this? Nature's candy. By the way, it's my turn to go down the rabbit hole. And Where I'm, are you? I'm honoring our good friends at Whiskey Cask. Nice. Oh, all I'm getting is... Oh. All I'm getting is the coals. Are you? I'm getting like a clam bake. See, you know, I always say that, you know, you do get the initial smoke, but once you push past that smoke, you get a lot of sweetness. No, I'm, it's not that I'm getting like the, it's a clam bake. It's like, oh. you're, you know, you're cooking on the beach, mm. you got the sand, the brine, oh. you get the smell of the clams isn't cooking, it, isn't some it? crabs in a bucket. Oh. Is, isn't it fruticello in this? Oh. This isn't a beach blanket bingo. <laughs> Well, that's a clam bake. I'm sure they had clams. Then again, why not have Ned Funicello in there? Frankie Avalon? One Frankie Ooh, Avalon. Wait, sure. You know who else was in those? Buster Keaton. Buster Keaton? Buster Keaton. Buster Keaton. Buster Keaton. And Captain Skeech and the Shrimp that... Shack Shooters. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Beach Bike and Bingo. Now, naturally, uh, you get a lot of vapors at 64.6. There's going to be yeah, but a it... lot of vapors. But it's not terrible. I don't find it to be like, like I have to back up and, you know, kind of just like... No, but they're there. Oh, no, they're like there. The, much like the Isla's there. And then you got to push past both and find the next notes. I get vanilla. I get the smoke, for sure. I get a little bit of maybe a little saltiness. Just a good trip out on the campfire. You get mm. a little clam bake. Then you got the roasted marshmallows afterwards. Get a little of the wood stick. Oh. I just could, so I much. Could, there's so, I could smell this all day. There's just so much heat to this. I, I'm afraid uh, to go in, but I'm going in. Well, I don't think you're that afraid because you're already a quarter of the way through the bottle. Ooh, I went in. Ooh, I could nose this all day. This is just fantastic. You know, if Yankee Candle made a candle <laughs> out of this, I'd be a happy guy, as opposed to all the other crap candles. I How smell. long would the candle burn? Uh, I'd, drink, I'd melt it and I'd probably yeah. drink it. Try to drink the wax. <laughs> Try to drink the wax. It's fairly viscous. It's thick. A little chewy. A little oily. Are you winning for taste? I'm getting a big brick of peat right on the tongue at the 64.6. It's a lot of heat. 
Mmm. Oh, yeah. A lot mm-hmm. of peat. Mm-hmm. Not unapproachable though. It's thick. Mm-hmm. It's like really, really oily. Mm-hmm. But oh, it's a uh, oily, chewy. Mm. While it's 64.6, there's a heat up front. The heat on the back end is actually very pleasant. I haven't put any water in it, and it's not no. an overly um, powerful burn. Oh. Very nice. It, it's just very nice. It starts off hot. I get the smoke in the beginning, but then the sweetness starts to come in. It's almost like a little piece of peat placed on your tongue, mm. and that goes away. Just It's like a melt away. And then you get all the, the, the candied flavors come rolling in. I get a little bit of sugar. I get the vanilla. I get a little bit of um, a little bit of menthol, or maybe licorice. A little bit of licorice. There's a little tiny bit of saltiness, but not a lot. Um, maybe a little tobacco. Maybe a little bit of nice pipe tobacco. Pipe tobacco. Maybe a little bit of leather, like a riding crop. Maybe a bridle. You know, <laughs> like licking a saddle. Maybe is that what we're on? Maybe a little bit of meat. Mm. Awfully good. Mm. Um, Oh, I like this a lot. Like and again, I'm, ha- I'm halfway through my glass and I haven't added water yet. No, neither have I. Which, neither have I. It's just very approachable at the 64.6. A couple drops of water. Don't though. spill it. Come on. No pressure. Oh, very nice. Very nice. You know what that was like? You were like Greg Luganis. There was like no splash. No splash. No splash. Dropped my water in. Dropped it in. But yes, I like this a lot. All 10s, I mean, but a 7 from the Russian oh, judge. Let me tell you. This is like a 9.7. This is just delicious. It's just really, really good. And again, I really like Yam Isla. Like with the Stao Isha or Stosha. 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 You know, it's just, it gets that really full flavor. You get all that brininess. Although, a couple of weeks ago, we had the joy of trying a 40 year old Laphroaig. And I gotta say, that didn't mellow out at all. That was just yeah, a, that was that was nice. a, that was a damn and, fine whiskey. And we tried the new make. And that was really, really both good too. Both a peated and an unpeated. And mm-hmm. They were both exceptional. They were delicious. I just love the frog. I gotta go there. Try a little bit of water. I will. I and will. Uh, let's see what you get. With a little bit of water, I think you get a little more of the meat. Mm-hmm. Comes through a little bit more of like a, uh, you know, pork roasting on a grill or, or maybe a brisket. Mm-hmm. Something, something delicious, truly. Oh, we're back to brisket. Maybe a little bit more brine. This is very, very nice. It's very, very nice. And, and the finish is really nice and long, and it's just very soothing. You know, and I get a little bit more of that herbal note in the finish. With the water. Yeah. You think of a lot more of the herbal note. Mm-hmm. And the finish seems a little bit longer. And uh, maybe a little softer, but longer, if that's a thing. No, that, no, you know, it's not so heat powerful at the end. Just very, very good. Uh, this bottle at a uh, seven year old was $115. At one fifteen, would you consider that a good buy, an okay buy, with good you know, buy for the buck? Given the ABV, given the taste, given the fact that there's only ninety bottles, and the exclusivity of, this, of it, right? right. I, I'd say yeah, that's not no. a bad deal. Yeah, because the society bottles tend to get a little pricey. Hmm. You know, when you get to like, I, I like to hover around, you know, maybe one twenty is my max. That's really something special, and, and I really like this. Yeah. And of course, firemen in fishnets. <laughs> I just think it's hysterical. Well, that may have also played a part in my buying it. Well, let's have a fun. You know me, it's let's have pretty, fun. shiny, well-crafted label. It is. It's oh, oh, there's whiskey in it? Oh, okay, I'll, I'll take you know, that. Do you know what that's called? Bonus. Yep. That's a like bonus round. Anyway, so thank you. So, Society, for... another, great, another great bottle. Uh, yeah, like I said, I would, go, I would go anywhere from 90 to 93 on this one. This is where I... Uh, I just really enjoy it. Glad I'm a member, because yeah. I get the opportunity to buy these. Yep. And... Share them, which is the most important thing. I mean, what's the point of the whiskey if you're not going to share? It? Exactly. So, um, cheers to the society. Keep up the good work. Yep. We're uh, we're waiting for the next twenty nine, two fifty six, two fifty seven, two fifty eight, two fifty nine. <laughs> See where we come from, Lafroy. Cheers. Cheers, sir. Thank you for sharing. Salute.